The San Siro Stadium was a sea of shimmering sequins and thunderous applause. It was the Milan leg of Taylor Swift's era's tour, a night that promised to be a magical journey through time. But destiny, it seemed, had other plans. As the iconic chords of Love Story filled the air, Taylor was in her element. A fairy tale princess in a shimmering gown, she was lost in the music, the crowd, and the moment. Then, a distraction. A flash of familiar, boyish charm in the VIP section. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend, was there, his eyes locked on her. Taylor's heart skipped a beat. A smile, a quick glance back at him. It was a fleeting moment, a stolen second. But in the grand scheme of a perfectly choreographed performance, it was enough. As she spun in a circle, the world seemed to slow down. The stage, once a familiar terrain, felt suddenly foreign. One misplaced step, a loss of balance, and the unthinkable happened. Taylor stumbled, her body hurtling towards the edge. A gasp rippled through the crowd as the unthinkable unfolded. The fall was swift and brutal. The world seemed to tilt, and then, darkness. When she opened her eyes, she was surrounded by a blur of white. A hospital room. The initial shock was replaced by a wave of embarrassment. How could this have happened? News of the incident spread like wildfire. Social media was ablaze with concern, speculation, and, inevitably, memes. The fall, captured on countless phones, was replayed endlessly. Fans were devastated, worried, and above all, protective of their beloved artist. Travis, ever the supportive partner, was by her side. His gentle touch, his reassuring words were a balm to her bruised ego and body. You're okay, he repeated, his voice a steady anchor in the storm of emotions she was experiencing. Recovery was a long process, physical and emotional. But Taylor, with her characteristic resilience, emerged stronger than before. The incident, while painful, had brought her closer to her fans. Their outpouring of love and support was a testament to the deep bond they shared. When she returned to the stage, the San Siro was louder than ever. The crowd roared, their love and acceptance washing over her like a warm wave. As she sang, she looked out at the sea of faces, and a new resolve took hold. This incident was not the end of her story, but a new chapter. A chapter that would make her performance even more raw, more real, more connected. And so, the show went on. With a heart full of gratitude and a spirit that was unbreakable, Taylor Swift stepped back into the spotlight. The fall had made her human, vulnerable, and in the eyes of millions, even more inspiring. Milan, Italy. A city steeped in history, was about to witness a moment that would be etched into pop culture lore. The San Siro Stadium was packed to the brim with screaming Swifties, each one a fervent devotee of the reigning queen of pop, Taylor Swift. The era's tour was in full swing, and the energy was electric. Unknown to the thousands of fans, a love story was also unfolding backstage. Taylor Swift and her NFL star boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, were navigating the complexities of a high-profile romance while juggling their demanding careers. Their love was a whirlwind, a secret oasis amidst the chaos of their lives. As the concert reached its crescendo, Taylor was performing her hit, Love Story. The stage was set with a fairy tale like backdrop, and Taylor was lost in the moment. Her voice soared as she belted out the lyrics, her eyes closed in concentration. Then, a distraction. In a VIP box, Travis was watching his girlfriend with a mixture of pride and adoration. His eyes, however, flickered to his phone. A notification. A quick glance. In that split second, Taylor's eyes, which had been closed, snapped open. She looked directly at Travis, a smile breaking across her face. The stage was tilted, a common feature in modern concert setups to create dramatic effects. But in that moment of distraction, Taylor lost her footing. A gasp rippled through the crowd as the superstar tumbled backwards, disappearing from view. The music cut out abruptly, replaced by a deafening silence. Then, a collective intake of breath as Taylor reappeared, helped up by her dancers. She was unharmed, but shaken. The crowd erupted in a mix of cheers and gasps. Backstage, chaos ensued. Taylor was whisked away for a checkup, 
while her team scrambled to figure out how to salvage the show. Travis was a picture of remorse, blaming himself for the incident. News of the fall spread like wildfire. Social media was ablaze with speculation, theories, and, of course, memes. Some blamed the stage, others the pressure of the tour. But a small, growing number of fans pointed to the VIP box. Taylor addressed the incident on her social media the next day. Fell off the stage last night, she wrote, with trademark humor. But got back up. To say I love you all would be an understatement. She made no mention of Travis. The incident became a defining moment in the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey saga. It was a stark reminder that even the most famous are human, vulnerable to the unexpected. And it proved, once again, that Taylor Swift had an uncanny ability to turn adversity into a moment of connection with her fans. The San Siro Stadium in Milan was a sea of shimmering, swaying bodies. Taylor Swift, a radiant goddess in a sequined gown, was in her element. The Italian crowd was a fervent, passionate backdrop to her era's tour, their voices a powerful undercurrent to her soaring melodies. Tonight was different. Amidst the euphoria, there was an undercurrent of tension. Travis Kelsey, Taylor's boyfriend, was in the VIP section, his eyes glued to her every move. Their love story, a whirlwind romance that had captured the world's attention, was as much a part of the evening as the music. As Taylor transitioned into the bridge of All Too Well, 10-minute version, the stadium was hushed. The spotlight focused solely on her, her voice raw and vulnerable. In that moment, a single, piercing whistle cut through the silence. It was Travis. A playful, encouraging gesture he'd perfected during their countless FaceTime calls. Taylor's gaze, for a split second, left the stage and found him. The stadium, a silent observer, held its breath. The stage, with its intricate design and hidden depths, was always a challenge. But tonight, fate seemed to conspire against her. A misstep, a moment of distraction, and Taylor was off balance. The crowd gasped as she tumbled backward, disappearing from view. A collective scream erupted, a cacophony of fear and disbelief. The stage crew reacted swiftly, but the damage was done. Taylor was conscious, but shaken. As paramedics carefully lifted her onto a stretcher, the stadium lights dimmed. The music faded into a haunting silence. News of the fall spread like wildfire. Social media was ablaze with speculation, concern, and an outpouring of love for the pop icon. Travis, his face a mask of worry, was by her side, his hand holding hers tightly. In the days that followed, the world watched as Taylor recovered. Her Instagram post, a simple photo of her hand intertwined with Travis, was a testament to their unwavering bond. The incident, while traumatic, had deepened their connection. The era's tour resumed, but the memory of that fateful night in Milan lingered. It was a stark reminder that even the most perfect performances can be marred by unexpected twists. And yet, it also served as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love. The fall from grace had only made Taylor stronger. And as she stepped back onto the stage, she carried with her not just the echoes of her music, but also the scars, the lessons, and the unwavering love of millions.